So, I talk about some stuff here. <clears throat> but really today, I want to talk about what happened today. Obviously, I have a rule. I don't usually talk about major incidences for the first 24 hours. But I got to tell you this, man. I know tomorrow, tomorrow the news media, the left news media is going to talk about how we need to restrict gun rights. We need to uh, restrict gun ownership and all that stuff, right? I don't like what happened today. Because me, as a gun owner of many guns, doesn't see this, this little 22 here, because I don't know, I've been a fan of carrying it lately at home. I don't see this as a tool to settle a debate. You know, an argument if I don't like somebody. If I disagree with them. The tool used today... Was probably one of these. Because this is America's most common firearm. As you see, I keep it fully loaded. Right? But I think it's important to realize, before all this gets po politicized by both sides, the Democrats and the Republicans, and I say both sides because they forget that there are other sides, like Libertarians, which is me, um, <laughs> before this gets politicized, I want to say this. What happened today was a travesty, a tragedy, it was atrocious, it was disgusting, it's wrong, it's morally wrong, and it should never happen. This is the reason why, now we don't know how he obtained those firearms, which is why I'm not making a full commentary on this right now. We don't know if he stole them, we don't know how he obtained them, anything. This is the reason why though, I'm an advocate for two things. Two of the many things that could stop this. Responsible gun owners. Lock your weapons up. Make sure they don't get stolen. Also, I'm not for abolishing every single gun law because there are people who shouldn't have these. There are. I also want to make note of this. It's an old adage that people say is kind of cheesy, but it's true. What stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. And the good guys just so happen to be the Secret Service, CIA, police. Everybody that was there that stopped the threat. <sighs> but I want to make note of one thing. And this is something that I feel is very important. <sighs> we have a mental health epidemic in the United States that we're not addressing. Look, do I if I if I wanted to, I can go out and do damage with this. I can go out and do damage with Skittles. It's my cat walking past me with a pen, with this pen. It's got a window punch on it. I can hit you with this battery bank and hurt you. I can, I don't know, break my computer over your head and assault you and injure you with it. I could sick this 
ferocious beast. Skittles on you. This big beast. He's got weapons right here. See? You big scary beast. You. It's not to regulate these. The answer is not. Let's regulate. Because when the bad times happen, you want a good guy around. You want a good guy around with one of these. You want a good guy around with one of these. This is a high point. I know people are going to laugh at me for it. Or maybe, maybe some of this. You know, other weapons you can use to defend yourself. This is an epidemic. It's a mental health epidemic. And it's not going anywhere until we address it. My condolences to the family of the one that is lost. My condolences to Trump's family and everybody else that was injured. Tomorrow you're going to see a different spin on this. It's kind of funny actually what's th that the, the media that's actually <laughs> accurately reporting this is Australia. The American media is not. Australia is. But the American media is going to use this to gaslight people on both sides. The fact is, a tragedy happened today where one person, two people lost their lives, actually. But the shooter, you know, condolences to their family and whatever. But fuck them. They did what they did and they got what they deserved. But in doing that, they injured three people and took the life of another one. It's sad. It's sad. And it's going to be politicized. And people on both sides are going to be gaslighted. The answer is not to ban these, though. I mean, I'm a card-carrying member of the NRA. I'm a card-carrying member of Firearms Legal Protection. I'm a legal gun owner of many, many firearms. And I hate that this happened. All of the people that I spoke to today that have mindsets just like mine and very much against mine all agree. What happened today was terrible. It needs to be stopped. Address the mental health condition or situation, right? Stop defunding police. Let them have accurate or enough manpower to go out and handle these things. Put money into mental health. Other countries have done it. And crimes like this have gone way down. We have a mental health problem here. And the quicker the politicians and the government, everybody else in the government happen to see this, the better off we will be. Nobody, even card carrying NRA, firearms legal protection insurance holders like myself, who have a huge arsenal, will be happy. The people who don't like guns, they'll be happy. We need to stop this. And the answer is by addressing the mental health epidemic. I'm not going to run ads on this video. I don't want to make a single penny off this. You guys have a good night. Later.